Well, hello, Dartfish Rally friends. It's lunchtime on the opening day here at the Rally New Zealand. And what an interesting morning we have had. Don't forget, Friday, six stages, nearly 160 kilometres. That's 100 miles of competitive distance. It's more than half of our total itinerary. What an opening four stages we have seen. Listen, we got up this morning in Auckland very, very early. It was dark and it was wet. We made our way to the opening stage, the Fonga Coast stage, and it was still raining. Very, very wet through the opening stage. What has that meant? That that man there, Gus Greensmith. Well, listen, let's go to Gus Greensmith. What a morning he had. Quickest through the Fonga Coast stage, very much suiting the Puma. It was really twisty at the end. The Puma beautifully balanced. Gus Greensmith taking his second ever stage win in the World Rally Championship, his first win on gravel. A great way for him to kick off the morning. But let's take a look at who's leading the way. It is Oitanic after four stages of the rally. A slender lead over Elvin Evans and Craig Breen. Let's hear what Tanak had to say to us a little earlier on. Uh, I wouldn't say it was far too strong, but uh, but we had a solid morning. Uh, first one maybe the most slippy of them, uh, the other one's a bit faster and, and um, yeah, actually the gleaning was was not really there, so uh, enough wet. Uh, so actually, yeah, lucky we had these kind of conditions. Where are you percentage-wise with the car? Are you at 90% comfort or where? Yeah, maybe <laughs> I don't know. With the, with these kind of numbers, it's difficult to say what is what is what. But um, I'd say in, in some areas we we are not so bad. Uh, some other, let's say, mostly we are we are struggling in the areas which have been weak side uh, through all this season. You know, since the car was born. So uh, yeah, it's it's mostly transmission related. Uh. So Oit Tanak clearly not 100% happy with the way his car is performing, but it's been a battling morning from Tanak, setting himself up nicely for this afternoon. The battle behind is even more intense. Our top six separated by just over 10 seconds. Joint second place, it's Elvin Evans and Craig Breen. Let's hear what Evans had to say. Do you know what? He's never 100% happy, is he? It's been okay. Um, not always happy, uh, as to be expected, you know, I think, to a point, coming with a brand new rally and, and brand new pace notes. But overall, it's been quite okay. Are you ever 100% happy? No, no. <laughs> that is the nature of being a driver, isn't it? There's always more to come. Yeah, uh, I think you're always looking for, for that last little bit. I think there's a couple of areas with the, with the car also, but uh, I guess everybody is going to say something along those lines if they start to, to look at the details. How difficult was the first one, sorry? Um, the, the, the first one where he got that heavier gravel and it wasn't cleaning so much? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to to say what the effect of, of the road is. For me, at the beginning, uh, I was a bit under-driving, it seemed. like the I was surprised with the level of grip, or my notes seemed to be anyway one call too, too uh, conservative in, in a lot of places right at the beginning of the stage. But then towards the end of the stage, a lot more greasy under the trees in that very narrow part, and uh, there it wasn't so easy. As I said, joint second places, 2.6 seconds off the lead, Evans and Craig Breen. It's been a difficult period for Craig Breen. He had a decent rally, didn't he, a few weeks ago in Athens. But before that, it was a disastrous run for the Irishman. Breen, though, has had a strong morning here on the stages on the Fonga coast. It's been good, honestly. Uh, the car has been great. Just enjoyed the stages. The, the roads are amazing. Uh, you know, even from the recce, you get an idea of what they're like, but it's only when you go at rally speed that... Uh, that you really get to understand. I never thought the New Zealanders had an appreciation for Waterloo, but there we go. I have a whole new, uh, whole new appreciation for New Zealand now. So yeah, it's been it's been a great morning. You talked in Greece about the fact that you just needed to relax and just do what you do. Is it is that working here? So far, yeah, yeah. I've just just tried to soak it all in. I think we all are. To be honest with you, we're just trying to take it all in because uh, they're so special, so unique, and we're only getting this chance to, to do it. So uh, it's definitely been a lot, a lot of fun so far. So as I say. Top six, separated by just over 10 seconds. The man who has really struggled out there this morning, though, Thierry Neuville, really struggling to get a feel for the car. A couple of spins for Neuville. We caught up with him just a few minutes ago. It was a bit of a struggle. We were just too hard on the setting on the opening stage. And, uh, yeah, on the other two stages, we just spun the car um, twice, a bit by surprise. So, uh, yeah, 20 seconds lost uh, by mistake. And the other 20 seconds mainly, uh, yeah, because uh, the rhythm is not like it should be. What, what can you do if the, if the car is running too hard? 
there's a limited amount you can do here. Yeah, um, luckily uh, I went for the softer springs yesterday evening um, uh, because we knew it was going to be more slippy than, than what we saw in Reiki. Um, and I could adapt on the clicks uh, this morning quite quickly and a bit on the roll bars. And uh, I think the, the speed after was not too bad, um, at least in some splits, but always a small mistake uh, cost us 10, 10, 12 seconds in each stage. So a fascinating morning here at Rally New Zealand. Really interesting afternoon ahead of us. It's a repeat of this morning stages. As you can see, the weather's looking, well, a little bit more encouraging. The forecast, though, is for heavy showers through the afternoon. Fantastic battle at the front. Let's see what happens this afternoon at the Rally of New Zealand.